military runs in the family. The big one would be my grandpa as well in World War II. It makes me feel good that just service in general runs in the blood. As far back as the Revolutionary War, the War of 1812, so there's, there's been somebody since the 1700s probably. Kind of felt like the right thing for me to do to kind of follow along. My older son started with a flag. Halfway through his deployment, my husband deployed to Afghanistan. He took the flag to Afghanistan. Brett was deployed to Iraq. He took the flag to Iraq. And then it went back to Afghanistan with my husband for his next deployment. Brandon went over as a contractor and Brandon took the flag then. Just recently, I was able to personally take the flag to the Sinai, to Egypt. This is the flag. It's just something that seems like a simple thing. I guess it represents a lot of memories, a lot of people, a lot of sacrifice. And the fact that uh, me and my boys have carried this thing into combat zones and on missions that it just has a little significance and meaning to us. I carry it on me every flight, it goes with me. I think it's gonna be great for our, our family that's gonna be coming up to look back and be like, wow, this flag's been through so much. I think it would have been easier for me to have gone than to send them. You wanna fix everything and you can't, or you wanna take some of the pain away you can't. Even though I haven't gone overseas, I haven't deployed, I've been with every one of them when they called. The things that she's done to keep our family together, to keep stuff going on her own, without complaining, without putting extra pressure on us, she's never made me feel guilty for being away from home. She's never made me feel like I had to get back home right now. I couldn't do what I do, and neither could any other soldier do what they do without the support of their family. Being a father and having kids deployed while I was at home, I can definitely tell you it's much harder to be at home than it is to be deployed. And she sat through too many deployments between her kids and me and supported us in everything that we've done. She's the rock of our family. I mean, without her, we don't have a family. She's tremendous. She's as dedicated to my business as she is her family. Everyone's been in a work situation where you have things on your mind. We have family problems. And you know how difficult it is to focus. Just imagine having three members of your family overseas. It's pretty tough. We were all deployed pretty much at the same time. We're all out of the house and she's holding down the fort back at home and that takes a lot. It's just a different part of the war itself. It's just life. You just do what you do, I guess. I don't know if people say, how do you do it? And it's like, well, it's quality, not quantity a lot of times. Hundreds of thousands of families in the United States have sent their loved ones over. I don't feel special. A hero is somebody that puts someone else first. They don't have to, but they do it anyway. Not that we did anything special, we just, signed up in the military and did what we were asked to do that's all it was so none of us are heroes but her she didn't sign up in the military she just supported people anytime we needed something she was there how many times she fixed bank cards bank problems uh, sent us stuff that we couldn't get on deployments listened to us gripe about our chain of command and people and things like that she she just endures it all i guess that's really what a hero is being willing to endure something for somebody else Without a doubt, my hero would have to be Patty.